Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We have learned the basic concepts of profit loss percentage and in fact usage of percentages. Let us try some problems. Question number 1. The cost of an article was Rs. 15,500, Rs. 450 were spent on its repairs. If it is sold for a profit of 15%, find the selling price of the article. So when you look at this problem, the cost price of the article is given as Rs. 15,500. Now we have spent Rs. 450 on its repairs. Now before we are selling it, we are also spending this extra money on that article. That means this repair cost is actually getting added to your cost price. Because in a way, you are paying 15,500 to buy that article. But again, you are repairing certain things. So that is also your cost because you are spending it. So this 450 will also get added to the cost price. So the, your net cost price would be 15,950. Now it is sold for a profit of 15%. So profit percentage is given as 15% and we have to find out the selling price of the article. Now we know that profit percent is equal to the profit in price divided by cost price because profit always happens on the cost price into 100. Now profit percent is 15 is equal to profit divided by cost price which is 15,950 into 100. So therefore we can say that profit is equal to 15 into 15,950 divided by 100. So this will be equal to rupees 2392.50. So this would be the actual profit in price. Now we have to calculate the selling price. So we know that profit is equal to SP minus CP. So therefore selling price is equal to profit plus cost price. So this is equal to profit is 2392.50 plus cost price is 15,000. 950. So therefore the net selling price would be 18,342.50. So this would be the selling price of the article. Question number two. A milkman sold two of his buffaloes for rupees 20,000 each. On one he made a gain of 5% and on the other he a loss of 10%. Find his overall gain or loss. So this, this is very much similar to the uh, TV VCR shopkeeper story which we had discussed some time back. Anyways, let's look at both the buffaloes one by one. So first let's discuss about the first buffalo. So for the first buffalo, what is its selling price? Here he sold the buffaloes for rupees 20,000. So the selling price is equal to rupees 20,000. And on this he made a gain of 5%. So therefore the profit percentage or gain percentage is equal to 5%. So we know that gain percent or profit percent is equal to the actual gain divided by cost price into 100. But in this problem cost price is not given. But we need to calculate the cost price to find out overall whether it was a gain or a loss. Now we can also say that cost instead of writing cost price we can write it as selling price minus gain because that is what it is right so into 100 now let us assume so since we do not know what is the gain so instead of writing gain gain again and again let's do one thing instead of gain let's assume that the gain is rupees x so it becomes easier for us to write. So gain percentage is 5%. So 5 is equal to x divided by selling price is 20,000 minus x into 100. So we can write 5 into 20,000 minus x is equal to 100x. Therefore we can say 100,000 is equal to 100x plus 5x. Therefore, x is equal to 
thousand divided by one zero five, which is equal to nine hundred fifty two point three eight. So what is this? Nine fifty two point three eight is the gain on the first buffalo. So therefore, what would be the cost price of the first buffalo? It would be the selling price, which is rupees twenty thousand minus the gain, that is to nine fifty two point three eight. So this is equal to rupees one nine zero four seven point six two. So this is the cost price of the first buffalo. Now let us do the same thing for the second buffalo. So now we talk about the second buffalo. Now for the second buffalo also selling price is rupees twenty thousand, and this time there is a loss, and the loss percentage is ten percent. So with this again we will do a similar procedure. Loss percent is equal to loss divided by CP. Instead of CP we can write it as selling price plus loss because loss is CP minus SP. So CP is equal to loss plus SP. So this into hundred. Again, let us assume that the loss is L. So loss percentage is ten. Let's assume that loss is L divided by SP, which is twenty thousand plus L into hundred. So therefore, this would be ten into twenty thousand plus L is equal to hundred L. So this can be written as two hundred thousand. Plus ten L is equal to hundred L, or we can say two hundred thousand is equal to ninety L. Therefore, L is equal to two hundred thousand divided by ninety, which is equal to rupees two 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 point two two. So this is the actual loss. So here also we can find out the cost price of the second buffalo, which is selling price plus loss. That's because loss is equal to CP minus SP. So therefore, selling price is twenty thousand plus loss is two 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 point two two. So the cost price is equal to rupees two 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 point two two. So this is the cost price of the second buffalo. So in this fashion, we have separately calculated the cost price of the first buffalo and the second buffalo. Now let us talk about the overall transaction. So overall, he has purchased both the buffaloes. So what would be the total cost price? Total cost price would be the cost price sum of the cost price of the of both the buffalo. So for the first buffalo, it was nineteen thousand forty forty seven point six two plus for the second buffalo, it was twenty two thousand two hundred twenty two point two two. So the total cost price is rupees four one two six nine point eight four. Now what is the total selling price? Now the total selling price will be equal to twenty thousand plus twenty thousand, which is equal to rupees forty thousand. Now, if you compare the total cost price and the total selling price, what do you see? You see that the total cost price is greater than the total selling price, which means what? Is there a gain or a loss? That means that there is a net loss. So how much is the net loss? So the net loss is equal to CP minus SP. That is equal to rupees four one two six nine point eight four minus forty thousand, which is equal to rupees one two six nine point eight four. So this is the net loss in price on this whole transaction. Question number three: Arun bought a pair of skates at a sale where the discount given was twenty percent. If the amount he pays is rupees one thousand six hundred, find the marked price. Okay, so we do not know the marked price, but we know that discount is always given on the marked price, and whatever he has paid is the amount which is after discount, right? So in this case, the marked price is not known, and how much he has paid? He has paid rupees one thousand six hundred, and how much discount did he get? So in this case, the discount percentage is given as twenty percent. Now let us assume that the marked price is rupees X. 
because we do not know how much it is. So let's say that it is X. Now the discount will be given on the mark price. That means exactly how much discount is given 20% of X. So this is the discount which is given. Right now 20% of X if you calculate that will give you the exact discount in price. Right now whatever you have paid in order to get that you have to subtract this discount from the mark price. So what is the mark price? Mark price is X. So from X you need to subtract the exact discount that you get. So because basically this portion is the discount in price, in exact price, how much discount have you got? So this you will subtract from the mark price. Then what will you get? So if you do X minus 20% of X, then what do you get? You get the amount that you need to pay to the shopkeeper. So this was the mark price, the original price. From this you subtract your discount and discount is 20% of the mark price. So this is equal to 1600 as per the question. So therefore we can say x minus 20 by 100 into x is equal to 1600 or we can say that so this is 20 into 5 so x, mi x minus x by 5 is equal to 1600 or we can say 5x minus x that is 4x by 5 is equal to 1600 or 4x is equal to 1600 into 5 or x is equal to 1600 into 5 divided by 4. So 4 4 is a 16 0 0 therefore x is equal to 20 2 0 0 0 basically 2000. So therefore the marked price of the skates was rupees 2000. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.